Hey folks, it's Antar, and I'm back with a new UU Singles Friend Battle. Uh, my opponent today is someone who I battled a few times before, Luna874, um, who also participated in my uh, Nuber tournament and who is now going to be participating in my Little Cup tournament. Uh, yay! Anyway, um, so, uh, you know, uh, looking over his team, uh, looks like it's going to be a pretty good team and pretty good match, and so I'm just going with my standard uh, Patrick lead. Uh, I see Espeon there, and my immediate thought is, oh god, it's Magic Mirror Espeon, but Magic Mirror Espeon doesn't exist yet, uh, in this sense, um, because it's a Dream World ability, and this is still Gen 4, uh, so that sent me for a little bit of a spin. But, uh, yeah, so uh, we go ahead and start the match. Um, Let's see, uh, I go ahead and set up my Stealth Rocks because it doesn't look like he's gonna taunt him away or anything. It's Shedinja, so I'm actually, you know, there's nothing I can do against Shedinja in terms of attacking with my Uxie because I don't have any super effective hits, nor do I have any status moves. Um, so I'm gonna have to switch out at this point, and I can't even U-turn because it's not gonna be a super effective hit. Um, yeah, Shedinja, I don't, I think this is the first time I've seen Shedinja on this channel. Um, and quite impressive. Anyway, so he gets off a second Source Dance, but, you know, it's Steelix. What does Steelix fear from, you know, any physical attacks from this guy? Um, but he's smart, he gets off the Will-O-Wisp, uh, which isn't going to help him considering he only has one HP, um, but it is going to help, um, you know, it, it's going to help some of that guy's teammates. Yeah, this is so funny. So it hits and it does no damage because of the Focus Sash. I just think that looks hilarious. Anyway, uh, he gets off a Shadow Sneak, which does nothing, even at plus four, you know. Uh, Shedinja really can't do anything to me. I'm really grateful that my Stone Edges didn't miss. Um, there was a high likelihood of at least one of them missing, and that would have prolonged this, uh, while I'd racked up some burn damage. But I do manage to take it out, so all is well in the forest. Um, and so I can go ahead and call back Hatterack at this point and send in Uxie again so I can uh, get off some Heal Bell action and uh, recover uh, that uh, recover from that burn. Anyway, he has a Gastrodon out, and so he goes ahead and Toxics me, um, which, you know, isn't going to hurt me too terribly. Um, oh, yeah, stupid Lumberry. Maybe I should remove that Lumberry because it would have been really nice to... Um, Poison that Gastrodon, and there's really not much I think that Gastrodon could do to me, and I'm not, and I'm hoping that it scares him away because he might think that I carry Grass Knot or Energy Ball, which I do, just not on this variant of Uxy. Anyway, he sends out Absol, and now I'm like, jeez, oh, not Absol! I have such bad luck with Absol. Um, as I keep complaining about, I guess I've faced a lot of Absols recently. Anyway, I get off the Heal Bell. Um, I am no longer burned, and so Absol goes ahead and uses Sucker Punch on me, but I figure I can take it, because, you know, Patrick is a freaking beast defensively, and as you see, he does take it, um, and so now I'm going to go ahead and use a super effective U-turn, which, you know, there's no um, investment in uh, Uxie's uh, attack, but even so, it does a whole hell of a lot. Um, yeah, I love my little Uxie, um, and so I call it back. And I'm going to go ahead and send out Steelix again, th thinking that I can pretty much wall this guy, uh, unless he runs superpower, which, you know, it's very likely that he does run superpower, but even so, I should be able to take at least one. I have 50% health, um, so I'm not really fearing too terribly. Um, and so he goes ahead and uh, uses superpower, of course, um, but I'm expecting him to survive because it's not stab, and I'm like, oh my god, it took him out! And I just couldn't believe that. Uh, yeah, that did. Uh, I just couldn't believe that he took out a Steelix. Granted, Steelix was only in about 50% health, but even so. Um, so anyway, Absol is going to die one way or the other pretty soon um, because of uh, Life Orb. And so I go ahead and uh, I, I send out Blake, my Arcanine, who's got the priority um, Extreme Speed. Which, by the way, I just found out that Extreme Speed just got a whole hell of a lot better in Gen 2. Instead of having a plus one priority, now it has plus two. Um, which makes it kind of the perfect counter for um, Mischievous Heart Pokemon, uh, which get a plus one priority on um, non-damaging moves. Uh, so uh, even so, Extreme Speed will still out-prioritize those guys. So um, I am currently in the process of investigating rebreeding um, Blake so that it can be of use on my um, Sydney team uh, on. Uh, in black and white. So anyway, he sends out Altaria, 
And um, there's, I don't really figure there's too much he, you know, I go ahead and switch into um, Maryland, my uh, Blastoise, who I know even that plus one attack, you know, can take, should be able to take one attack. And I'm lucky that he chose Outrage, because now he's locked into it uh, and can't even switch out. And so I get off an Ice Beam and I kill that sucker. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I got the priority thing. I mean, obviously he couldn't switch out after he attacked. But anyway, yeah, I do manage to take him out. And then next up is Drapion, and I'm like, well, geez, what am I going to do against Drapion? Um, you know, I figure that I've, I've got decent defense, so I should be able to survive an attack. Uh, and he gets off a sword stance, so I'm like, ah, oh, thanks for being greedy. Uh, I just wish that I had, I, had I predicted that correctly, I could have used a water spout, which would have, um, with stab, um, and knowing, going, going to the fact that I still have decent, uh, HP, it would have done a lot more than that ice beam. Uh, and I was predicting uh, him to go ahead and Swords Dance again, seeing that my attack did nothing, but he goes ahead and attacks and KOs my Maryland before I can get off a Water Spout. So that's a shame. Uh, and so I have no idea why I did this. I have no idea why I sent out a Pokemon that's weak against Dark types and doesn't have any super effective moves. So I realized my mistake and went to set up a substitute, hoping that he'd Swords Dance again. But no, he just goes for the Night Slash, and so there's nothing I can do, because no one is go you know, uh, no one is going to want to take a plus two Night Slash on the Switch, um, and, but Uchikoma can't really do anything, so I'm just looking through my attacks, and I realize the only attack that's even going to be moderately effective is Charge Beam, uh, which does nothing, I mean, a really bad move on my part, I just can't believe I did that. But anyway, so I get what I deserve. Night Slash takes out Tachikoma, and um, I lose another Pokemon. Um, so at this point, I'm kind of fearing that uh, he's got a good chance of winning. Um, yeah, I've only got two Pokemon left who have any amount of health. Um, you know, Yuxi is basically just death fodder at this point. So I go ahead and send Blake back out, and I'm going to go ahead and extreme speed him, which is what I should have done in the first place. I could have taken him out, probably. Um, thanks to the fact that uh, Blake is pretty darn offensive. So anyway, I do take out Drapion, uh, and uh, that's good, and I've got some life orb damage, uh, but that, and that's not so good. Um, anyway, he sends out his mirror, and it's like, oh god, mirror? You mean magic mirror? But it's not a magic mirror Pokemon, so it's all, all good. So I'm not sure what he's going to do. Uh, so I, I think about what to do. Yeah, so I've got three Pokemon left, he's got two, but one of mine is crippled, and his, both of his Pokemon are pretty much at full health. So I go ahead in Morning Sun, um, thinking that he's going to attack me, uh, and I think he, thinking that he's going to be faster. But surprisingly, he's not faster. Um, you know, you, I guess it's running a bulky set that didn't need its speed investment, but that's pretty awesome. So anyway, uh, seeing that he used Wish, I decided I was going to go attack, um, but he had the Protect up, and so this is kind of silly. Um, so he did the Wish Protect combo, and he's only going to regain a little tiny bit of health. That just seemed kind of wasted to me. Um, but so anyway, uh, predicting my Flare Blitz, uh, um, Luna calls back his Pokemon and sends out Gastrodon uh, to scare me away. And, you know, I know that I can't take a super effective Surf or an Earthquake or anything like that. So uh, after this Flare Blitz, uh, which does a decent amount of damage, but not a great amount, I'm going to have to call him back. Uh, so that's really not good. Um, in its place, I send out Kyoko, my Glaceon. Um, yeah, so Gastrodon is running a counter set, which uh, I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. Uh, so I don't know whether it's running Mirror Code as well, so I'm going to go ahead and um, loosen them up before I go ahead and attack. And indeed, he is running Mirror Code. So I'm like, okay, well, I do some calcs, and at minus four, I should be able to one-hit KO this guy. Actually, at minus two, there's a decent chance that I could one-hit KO this guy, but I didn't want to take it any, any chances. So I go ahead and get him to minus four, and then I get toxic. And so I'm like, all right, finally it's time to attack. Um, but uh, you know, he realizes that you know I can one hit KO him. So goes ahead and sends out um, his Espeon again. And so this Ice Beam isn't going to do a whole hell of a lot, um, but it is going to do a decent amount. And um, he's going to try to toxic stall me out. You know, he runs protect. Uh, yeah, that Ice Beam, even uh, without any defense drops on his end. Um, does a whole lot of damage. Um, Kyoko is kind of amazing. Uh, so anyway, I go ahead and send out Patrick, uh, thinking that he's going to protect. Instead, he used Wish, which I'm like, oh man, had I went ahead of Nice Beam, I could have killed him. 
But uh, anyway, Patrick's not going to be faster, but, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe he's going to protect, uh, thinking that there's going to be U-turns, so I go ahead and use Heal Bell to try to get that uh, Toxic off. Um, but no, Mirror goes ahead and attacks with Shadow Ball, which one hit KOs me. Um, well, not one hit KOs me, but it's enough to KO me, um, considering I'm down to no HP and he is faster. So, uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles, and I'm down to two Pokemon. Um, and yeah, so his wish comes true, and he gets more uh, health back, and I go ahead and send Arcanine back out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attack him uh, with all I got. Um, he goes ahead and protects, uh, you know, predicting my attack, you know, fairly obvious that I was going to attack. But, you know, he's not stalling me. I mean, it was just a wasted turn uh, on both sides. I mean, maybe he's trying to PP stall me. But anyway, I get a crit on extreme speed, which isn't enough to KO. Um, so that's kind of a shame. Um, Mirror goes ahead and wishes, uh, and I know he's going to protect on the next turn. Um, so, uh, rather than attack, I'm going to go ahead and recover off what little damage I have, um, with Morning Sun. So I'm going to be back at full HP. So that's kind of nice. Um, and so now I'm ho and so now he's back at 50%, uh, and, you know, I'm not sure whether he's going to switch or what, so I go ahead and use Extreme Speed, um, and it's not enough to KO, obviously. Um, and so he goes ahead and wishes again, and so I'm thinking... Well, I'm going to go ahead and attack, because I've got, the, you know, Morning Sun would be silly, and, you know, just in case he's predicting that I'm going to not attack and he does something himself, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go for Maximum Damaging Flare Blitz, um, in the hopes of taking him out, uh, and indeed, he didn't protect, so I over, I predicted his overprediction, uh, and I go ahead and take him out, uh, and now he's down to one Pokemon, and, uh, you know, it's Gastrodon, and, you know... I'm really not sure what to do here. So, uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta really think about this. Um, and so I go ahead and attack with extreme speed, knowing that he's gonna counter me. Um, but I just need to get in as much damage as possible so that Kyoko can do her job. Um, and so Gastrodon goes ahead and uses counter, which is obviously going to KO me. Um, so yeah, so now we're each down to our last Pokemon. And this match is uh, you know, almost over. Uh, so I go ahead and send Kyoko back out. Uh, I found it interesting that, you know, didn't go for Surfer or anything. And so I think, is it possible? Does he not have any attacking moves? Uh, so I, I realized that I can't, I can't, you know, I, I, I cannot take, um, I can't one-hit KO him and I can't take the Mirror Coat. So I have to lower his defenses before I attack. And lo and behold, He's got Recover, so his four moves are Toxic, Counter, Mirror Coat, and Recover. No attacking moves. This is great, because as long as I don't attack him, he can't do any damage to me, and while I am taking Toxic damage, it's not the end of the world, because it's still early in the cycle. Uh, so I go ahead and get him down to minus six, because I'm being extra, extra careful. I do not want anything to go wrong here. Um, and. He gets, uh, you know, he gets recovered, but his HP is full, can't really do anything. So I go ahead and Ice Beam. At minus six, that is going to be more than enough to take him out. And I have very, very, very narrowly won the match. Uh, Luna, I know you're watching. Great battle. Um, great predictions there on both of our ends. And I look forward to battling you again. Uh, everyone else in the audience, comment, rate, subscribe, and of course, challenge!